chapter 1861, stretch your face over, too. Scattered upon the floor, the written content in all those letters pointed to his relationship with a certain person, where it clearly recorded that Elder Ui ordered people to set fire to the Hill City's branch, murdered the disciples of the Shadow Moon Palace and many other kinds of infraction. That whole stack of letters had been delivered straight up right before the Shadow Moon Palace Lord and when he finished looking through them, the Shadow Moon Palace Lord's mind was just about to explode. Believe you? How can I believe you? Elder Yui, do you think I have already lost my mind? That I have become so muddle-headed that I cannot recognize your handwriting? You mustn't forget. When I was young, you were the one who taught me calligraphy yourself. Your handwriting, is something deeply entrenched in my mind. The Shadow Moon Palace Lord was so angry his face had turned a little pale. If this had been done by someone else, it wouldn't be this bad. Although he had restricted Elder Yui's authority to a certain extent recently, but among all the elders throughout the entire Shadow Moon Palace, the one he trusted the most had been Elder Yui. My lord. It's not me. It really isn't me. These letters, must have been written by someone who imitated my handwriting. Elder Yui was in a panic. Never would he have dreamt that these letters would fall into the Shadow Moon Palace Lord's hands. The contents upon the letters had indeed been written by Elder Yui's own hand. In order to exact vengeance upon Yui so that he could regain control over her, he had dreamed up such a scheme for him to capture Yui, and those people in the hill city were linked he used to communicate with people from other powers. All those power were just anxious to win the Shadow Moon Palace's favor but they never had the chance. With this line thrown out by Elder Yui, they had all eagerly jumped on it, thinking to use Elder Yui to gain themselves the inside track into the palace, while Elder Yui had made use of that very mindset of those people, to use them as a force of his own outside of the Shadow Moon Palace. In order to ensure that his plans came to fruition, he had used letters to communicate with them. But he had reminded them repeatedly every single time, that they were to burn up the letters immediately after reading them, in the end, this time, Elder Yui was shocked silly. When he had written those letters, as he had only intended for those letters to be seen only by those people who sought his favor, the words he used had been arrogant and filled with disdain. These things, must not be seen by anyone in the Shadow Moon Palace, and never ever should they be seen by the Shadow Moon Palace Lord. He could almost imagine the kind of rage and shock that the Shadow Moon Palace Lord must have felt when he saw them. Good. So you are not going to admit it? Instead of rage, the Shadow Moon Palace Lord laughed. He was so angry he was visibly trembling as he raised a finger to point at Elder Ying and said, Elder Ying, go bring in those people right now. I will then like to see how this traitorous ingrate can still continue to deny it. Elder Ying's face was completely calm, without the slightest sign of glee or rage, but just a stoic expression as he carried out the task going by the book. Elder Yui's heart grew even more panicked. Even if he was a complete idiot, he should be able to tell that all these letters were brought in by Elder Ying. But he had clearly made prior preparations for everything, so how did these things come to fall into Elder Ying's hands? And what worried Elder Yui more at that moment was, those people, who are those people? Elder Yui remained kneeling on the floor not daring to move an inch his heart drumming like thunder as an ominous feeling rose up within. In just a while, Elder Yin came into the palace hall leading several of the Shadow Moon Palace's disciples. A clinking clatter then reverberated within the palace hall. Behind those disciples, more than ten wretched-looking men with their hands and legs bound in chains were being led into the palace hall, looking highly dispirited. Upon seeing the palace lord and you're all not on your knees, Elder Ying shouted in a cold voice. With shivering legs, all the men uniformly knelt down before the Shadow Moon Palace Lord, their bodies trembling as they said, Respects to my Lord. Chapter 1862, Stretch Your Face Over, 3. Once Elder Yu saw those people, his mind exploded in that instant, his entire person slumped in a daze, not moving at all. Tell the Palace Lord who you people are and what kind of a relationship you have with Elder Yue. Elder Ying said in a deep voice. 
with their backs well bent, the men looked upon the Shadow Moon Palace Lord in abject terror. My lord, I am the maniac sect's deputy chief. The chief asked for me look into our sect joining up under the revered Shadow Moon Palace and as your humble servant was unable to see my lord, I went through other avenues and managed to be linked up with Elder Yui. Elder Yui then told us that for us to be able to join the Shadow Moon Palace, we must first show our sincerity by doing what he tells us to do. My lord, I am the Maple Pavilions, my lord. More than ten men knelt on the floor as they introduced themselves. They were all from different sects and powers, but they were all similarly seeking to gain the favor of the Shadow Moon Palace and they had all been linked up with Elder Yui. Elder Yui had basically hinted the same thing to all of them, which was to do as per his orders, and his orders were what the Shadow Moon Palace Lord wanted. Only by doing as they were told, would they then show the Shadow Moon Palace Lord their sincerity. The more the Shadow Moon Palace Lord heard, the darker his face turned to become. Under Elder Ying's interrogation, those people had not only revealed the fact that they had followed Elder Yue's orders to attack the Hill City's branch, they also told of treasures that they had presented to the Shadow Moon Palace Lord through Elder Yue. And as for those treasures, the Shadow Moon Palace Lord had never even seen them even once before. In whose hands had all those things fallen into? One immediately knew without even having to think. Elder Yue, you're truly a great elder of mine. I had thought of you as the most senior elder of the Shadow Moon Palace Lord. You had served my grandfather, my father, and I had trusted you so much. But what have you done? You joined hands with outsiders to oppress the other elders of our palace and it was not enough that you stuffed your own pockets, you had even gotten these people to murder my palace disciples. What are you trying to do? The Shadow Moon Palace Lord was filled with rage. Towards the minor deviant thoughts and slight infractions the various elders committed, he had mostly chosen to close a night towards them. But when one carried it so far to this extent and he continued to ignore it, wouldn't it be as good as him presenting the Shadow Moon Palace on a platter to someone else? My lord I've been wrongly accused your subordinate's loyalty to the Shadow Moon Palace can be vouched by the sun and moon. These people these people must have been brought in by Elder Ying to frame me. My lord is aware that Elder Ying has already been at odds with me and his eagerness in taking up the investigation in this incident was purely aimed at sending me to my doom. I have already served the Shadow Moon Palace for so many years and never have I once harbored any intentions of betrayal at all. My lord. You must definitely believe me. If I truly harbored such thoughts of treachery, why would I need to wait till now? When the late Palace Lord was gravely ill. My lord was still very young and your subordinate had served and supported my lord with everything I had, never ever thinking about anything else. If I had really thought that way, wouldn't that have been the best time for me to strike? Elder Yue said, claiming innocence in a loud voice. He knew, that if today's events concluded as things stood now, it wouldn't matter how much he had done for the Shadow Moon Palace before, the only path ahead of him would only be death. Not a single reigning ruler, could possibly allow a person to collude with other powers to weaken their own power and authority. The Shadow Moon Palace Lord drew in a deep breath, the rage in his heart not diminished in the slightest, but Elder Yue's words had made him recall about many things from when he was still very young. His father had been gravely ill when he was still very young. At that time, Elder Yue had the perfect opportunity to gain control over the ruler, to hold reign but Elder Yui had not done it. Within his rage, the Shadow Moon Palace Lord regained a sliver of calm after hearing Elder Yui's words, though the look on his face did not improve in the slightest. Chapter 1863, Stretch Your Face Over, 4. Elder Yui detected that he still had space to wiggle and he began to recount all the things that he had done for the Shadow Moon Palace in detail, and brought up the many chances he had to use her to prove his loyalty. Elder Ying stood on the side and remained silent without a word, but a sense of unease grew in his heart. Elder Yue's contributions and standing in the Shadow Moon Palace was deep and profound and he had brought up the Palace Lord under his watch. If he was allowed to bring up more of these things of the past, there was no guarantee that the Palace Lord's heart would not soften. 
At that moment, Elder Ying's gaze unconsciously turned to look towards the outside. He was waiting. Waiting for Jun Wuxi's next move. Under Elder Yue's tear-jerking persuasion, the expression on the Shadow Moon Palace Lord's face finally softened, his heart yielding to the scene after scene of memories elicited as he looked at the aged Elder Yue kneeling within the palace hall. His heart could not help but be moved. Elder Yue saw that the Shadow Moon Palace Lord was showing signs relent and he secretly heaved a sigh of relief in his heart, but his face still looking highly sorrowful and emotional. Grandfather, aren't you afraid of heaven's wrath by saying these words? Suddenly, a clear and ringing female voice sounded within the palace hall. The eyes of everyone within the hall were all drawn to the voice. It was not known from when that Yue, with her face pale, had appeared there just outside the doors of the Shadow Moon Palace Hall. Little Yi? The Shadow Moon Palace Lord was taken aback in surprise a moment when he saw Yue. Elder Yue stared with his eyes wide, looking in disbelief at Yue. My lord, little Yi has something to say. Yue said, her sad eyes looking at the Shadow Moon Palace Lord. You can speak your mind. The Shadow Moon Palace Lord quickly said. Yue took a deep breath and walked into the palace hall, to kneel straight-backed and stoic beside Elder Yue. Elder Yue's eyes glared at Yue, wishing he could swallow her alive. It had been Yue's betrayal that caused the Shadow Moon Palace Lord to look upon him in a bad light for the first time. In the instant that he saw Yue, Elder Yue immediately felt a tinge of trouble inside. Yue pretended not to have seen Elder Yue's furious gaze but just went on to raise her head up to look at the Shadow Moon Palace Lord. She then prostrated herself down deeply to kowtow, and after raising her head, she then opened her mouth to say, My Lord, little Yi has come here today to plead punishment from my Lord for my crime. The Shadow Moon Palace Lord looked at Yue in puzzlement. Little Yi's health is still not fully recovered and there is no need for you to kneel. Quickly get up. Yue however shook her head. I beg for my lord to allow little Yi to finish what I have to say while kneeling, as little Yi is guilty, guilty of an unpardonable crime. Yue. You have no business being here. The sense of unease in Elder Yue's heart grew more and more intense, the voice deep in his heart telling him that he must not allow Yue to continue to speak, or it would all be over. What are you afraid of? Yue asked looking at Elder Yue coldly. At that moment, Yue's eyes did not show the slightest bit of her usual timidness but a cold callousness. Elder Yue's heart was chilled by that single glance from those eyes. My lord, please allow little Yi to finish what I have to say. Yue turned to look at the Shadow Moon Palace Lord once again. The Shadow Moon Palace Lord could do nothing but nod his head helplessly. Little Yi had from a young age been brought up together with my big brother, kept at Elder Yue's side, having received Elder Yue's teaching and instruction from young, and Little Yi had always thought that Elder Yue was truly being very nice to Little Yi and big brother. But a few days ago, because Little Yi was taken in under my lord's care, Elder Yue's heart had become displeased and he prepared a present for Little Yi. Little Yi has initially thought that although Elder Yui had previously carried out certain immoral acts upon Little Yi before, but he had after all been the one who brought up Little Yi and Big Brother, and we are indebted to him for the upbringing. But the present that Elder Yui had suddenly given to Little Yi had made Little Yi really understand just how terrifying this man truly is. Yui Yi said slowly, Chapter 1864, Stretch Your Face Over, 5. What kind of a present? The Shadow Moon Palace Lord asked a little curiously. Yue pulled out a brocade box from her robes. At the moment when Elder Yue saw that brocade box, he cried inwardly in horror, wanting to stop her but she did not dare to act rashly. Yue opened the brocade box. In that brocade box, was a nauseating piece of flesh that was beginning to rot. And the stench of rotting flesh immediately spread into the air within the palace hall. What is that? The Shadow Moon Palace Lord asked as he pinched his nose. Yue looked straight into the Palace Lord's eyes. Flesh over the heart. Flesh over my big brother, Yue's heart. What? The Shadow Moon Palace Lord's eyes widened with incredulity. 
This was what Elder Yuai gifted to Little Yi on the day after Elder Yuai came to report to my lord about the attack on the Hill City's branch and brought news that Big Brother's gone missing. Yuai Yi's voice was tinged with a hint of suppressed emotion. The Shadow Moon Palace Lord glared at Elder Yuai kneeling at the side, unable to believe everything that was happening. Yuai Yi cowed out vehemently, crawling as she knelt to plead, My lord, Little Yi is prepared to shoulder the blame and to be cursed for being a wretched ingrate, to have come here today to expose Elder Yuai's many evil deeds. I do not dare plead for my lord's forgiveness, but I beg for my lord to bring this inhuman, dishonorable, disloyal and unfilial villain to justice. Yuai Do not think you can spout such nonsense irresponsibly. Elder Yuai was almost screamed out in terror. Yuai Yi ignored him and continued to say, Elder Yuai taught me and my big brother, to only listen to his orders alone, using my big brother to gain him more power in the Shadow Moon Palace, and sent little Yi to my lord's side, to find an opportunity to poison my lord. What did you say? Poison me? The Shadow Moon Palace Lord was truly shocked this time. Yes. My lord can try to recall carefully. When had my lord's health started to deteriorate? Isn't it not long after little ye came close to my lord, that my lord started to feel his entire body become weak, breathless and lethargic? Those were the effects from the poison that Elder Yuai ordered little ye to inflict onto my lord. Yuai's stifled and suppressed voice immediately caused the entire palace hall to fall as silent as death. Elder Yuai's face turned an iron green shade. He would admit to all the other things she said. But this accusation that he poisoned the Shadow Moon Palace Lord was really something that he had not done. This wench was clearly falsely accusing him. Yuai. You'd better not accuse me with such blatant slander. When have I ever made you commit such a heinous act? If I had really wanted to harm the Palace Lord, why would I need, you wanted to strike now, because you felt that enough time had passed, as the poison used on my Lord is a slow acting kind of poison. When this kind of poison is introduced into a person's body, it will need more than ten years before it can send the person into the afterlife, and you had taken the chance when my lord was frail and weak, while he was unable to handle the palace's affairs, to make my lord hand over his authority to you. You had then grabbed the opportunity to build up your might and influence, so that you would be able to smoothly assume the entire Shadow Moon Palace when my lord falls. You did not dare to do it before you were afraid that if you seize the seat of the palace lord then, you would have no legitimate claim to the throne. Every single word of Yuai's was went for blood, slowly tearing off Elder Yuai's benign mask bit by bit. You're spouting complete lies. I did not. Elder Yuai was so angry his entire body was shaking, his hands stretching out as they sought to throttle Yuai's neck. Elder Ying jumped forward valiantly to stop Elder Yuai's attack completely. Let her speak. Let her speak. I am very interested to hear just how many more shameless and treacherous deeds you are responsible for. And just how venomous you really are. The Shadow Moon Palace Lord was so filled with rage that his hands was shaking. He might not be suspicious if it had been any other matter. But with the reminder from Yuai, he carefully thought back to the time before and after that he had been unwell and realized that it had been exactly as Yuai had said. After his strength could not hold up, he had indeed handed and transferred quite a bit of autority over to Elder Yuai whom he trusts the most. Chapter 1865, Stick Your Face Out, 5. My lord, little Yi had been too young to recognize a person real nature and for so many years, I have disappointed my lord with the concern shown to little Yi. Little Yi has been very selfish and if not for the fact that Elder Yuai has captured my big brother, I will not have exposed everything that Elder Yuai has done. When Little Yi decided to come here to spill the bins today, I have prepared myself to be unable to walk out from it alive. If my lord feels that Little Yi can falsely accuse a person at the cost of my own life, there is then nothing Little Yi has to say, but to beg that my lord must really be wary of treacherous ingrates and that little Yi has let my lord down. When Yuai Yi finished saying all that, she became extraordinarily calm. And it was those very words said with such calm that gave her the most important effect. If Elder Yuai had not captured Yuai Yi, 
with the UAE's kind of personality and the state she was in, there was no need for her to risk her life like this. Because once those words came out from her mouth, there was no more turning back. If the Shadow Moon Palace Lord was to believe them, then there would be no need to mention the end that Elder Ui would come to, but that would still spell doom for Ui as well. And if he chose not to believe her, Ui would definitely not come to any good end as well. If she had not been forced with her back pressed against the wall with no other way out, why would Ui want to risk her life like that? And it was Ui's words that caused the tinge of longing the Shadow Moon Palace Lord felt for her to evaporate, and his eyes that stared upon Elder Ui to become filled with hatred and doubt. Elder Ui's heart fell to the floor with a thud. My lord. My lord, I have never done that, I really haven't. If my lord does not believe it, I can use the poison on myself to prove it. Without another word, Ui took out a medicine bottle from her robes, and tilted her head back to gulp it down before everyone's eyes. A crisp and clear tinkle sounded, as the empty bottle in Ui's hand fell to the floor, smashing in many pieces. My lord can now get the physicians to take my pulse. If my pulse reads a different condition from that of my lord's before, little ye will immediately take my own life here. Ui was really going all out this time. Elder Ui's entire body was shaking beat him to death, and he would not have thought that Ui would go to such an extent, which was as good as seeking death. If it was anyone else that was framing him here, Elder Ui might still be able to find some excuse. But Ui and Ui had been adopted by him from many years back and they had not come in contact with other people all that much before. If it was said that they were setting him up under the instruction of other people, the Shadow Moon Palace Lord would never believe it. Guards. Summon all the physicians who had diagnosed my pulse throughout the period to come here immediately. The Shadow Moon Palace Lord said with his eyes narrowed. Elder Ying took a glance at Ui without anyone noticing. Although his face was calm, but inside his heart, fear and terror surged like the tide. At the moment that Ui swallowed the poison, he had wanted to go stop her so badly but he knew that Ui's appearance here was part of Jun Wuxi's plan her plan to send Elder Yue to his death. Elder Ying soon led more than ten physicians to come walking into the palace hall. Under the Shadow Moon Palace Lord's orders, they all took Yue's pulse one by one. Reporting to my lord. Yue's pulse is in the same state as it was for my lord previously. After more than ten physicians took Yue's pulse, the conclusion they got was shockingly unanimous. In that instant, the Shadow Moon Palace Lord completely lost it. His hand carelessly grabbed at the paperweight on his table and he threw it hard at Elder Yue. A big wound immediately broke out on Elder Yue's forehead, blood gushing out like a spring. My lord. Your subordinate is innocent. Elder Yue could not be bothered with the pain and he just knelt himself on the floor as he howled, pleading innocence. Even if he was beaten to death, he would not have thought that he would fall into such a state where he found himself unable to refute the accusations levied against him. For things that he had truly committed, he would still be able to cover up. But these things that he had never done, were instead pushing him straight into a highly distant nightmare. Yue drew in a deep breath, and just knelt there determinedly in the palace hall, her eyes cold as she watched the pitiful end that tell the Yue I was about to face. Chapter 1866, Stick Your Face Out, 7 good. Elder Yue, you're a deep one aren't you? The Shadow Moon Palace Lord was so furious he laughed out loud as he pointed at Elder Yue to say, guards. Arrest that man with his insidious intentions right away. With the order given by the Shadow Moon Palace Lord, Elder Ying immediately led men to go capture Elder Yue. But Elder Yue however summoned up his spirit's powers to explode out in a flare where the silver spirit light that manifested blew the disciples surging towards him away. My lord. I served the past three generations of your ancestors and you do not trust me. Instead, you have chosen to believe this wench whose mouth is filled with lies. I have been loyal and faithful to the Shadow Moon Palace but you are treating me like this. Elder Yue stood up, his eyes red as he stared at the Shadow Moon Palace Lord. 
he knew that if he gave himself up to be arrested, it would be a straight path to death, and he was not going to resign himself to be executed just like that. Protect the palace lord. Elder Ying saw that Elder Yui was behaving abnormally and he immediately shouted out. All the disciples immediately surged to stand before the Shadow Moon Palace Lord, as they stared sternly at Elder Yui. In the Shadow Moon Palace, Elder Yui's powers were already comparable to that of the Palace Lords and with the Shadow Moon Palace Lord having been in ill health the past several years, his powers had declined somewhat, and was no longer a match for Elder Yui. The Shadow Moon Palace Lord glared with his eyes wide at Elder Yui. Elder Yui. This is outright rebellion. The Lord wants your vassal dead, your vassal will have to die. But if you want me to die at the hands of this filthy whore, I am unable to swallow the humiliation. Elder Yui said with a cold laugh. He might have pledged allegiance to the Shadow Moon Palace, but he treasured his own life more. Since the Shadow Moon Palace Lord was not willing to let him live, he would not mind fighting his way out of here. Guards! Arrest him right now. The Shadow Moon Palace Lord was rather flurried. Elder Yui was at that moment the most highly skilled member, and if he were to really flip out and go berserk, there was no guarantee his own life was not at risk. With that order given by the Shadow Moon Palace Lord, everyone lunged forward together, to pounce upon Elder Yui. Elder Yui snorted in contempt and his body morphed into a streak of lightning. The disciples in the hall were all unable to touch him at all and they were all wounded by him. In the instant that the figure of Elder Yue flashed, he grabbed Yue Yi who was kneeling beside him and his body flashed once more, to finally stop just outside the palace hall. One of his hands clutched at Yue Yi's throat, his sinister and chilling gaze falling upon the highly pale face of Yue Yi's. You little whore, this old man has truly misjudged you. I had not thought that you could really be so venomous. Since you seek to make life difficult for me, do not think that you and your elder brother can continue to live. Hold it. Elder Ying's heart cringed and he could not be bothered about anything else but charged straight up, wanting to save you i.e. However, Elder Ying's powers was merely just at the purple spirit level and it was sorely inadequate to go against Elder Yu I who had attained the silver spirit. Before he could even touch you i.e. He was sent flying by a single palm strike from Elder Yue. Elder Ying. You're such a pathetic and useless piece of trash. Do you really think that you are able to take me on? Let me tell you. I'll leave if I want to today, and no one in the Shadow Moon Palace will be able to bar my path. You have gone against me for so many years and at the end of it, you have merely just shown yourself to be a mindless moron. I shall be benevolent today and tell you something. Elder Yui's mouth curled up into a cold sneer, his gaze shifting over on to Yui. All these years, the truth is your son was killed by the Shadow Moon Palace and I was the one who sent people to go have your daughter-in-law slaughtered, while a pair of grandchildren of yours were brought back to the Shadow Moon Palace by me, to be reared like dogs by my side. This little whore here is your granddaughter, and Yui is your grandson. Bwahaha. Not even in your dreams would you have thought right? That the two pitiful worms that had been reduced to mere playthings of the palace lord and me, are actually your blood kin, chapter 1867, stick your face out, 8. Don't you find yourself just so pathetic? Having thought that you have finally grasped the life-saving straw, to have the Shadow Moon Palace help you find your grandchildren, but your grandson and granddaughter had been before your eyes all this time and the entity that you pledged your loyalty and allegiance to, is actually the murderer of your son. I really pity you. You watched with your own eyes your grandson reduced to become a plaything of mine, and your granddaughter attracted the palace lords I ha 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 this is what the Zan family has ended to become? Ha 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 hilarious. But you do not have to worry. These two unbelievably filthy kids are right about to depart from this world and your bloodline will then be severed. You should thank me for this, to let you be able to see them one last time before they die. Bwahaha. Elder Yui laughed maniacally, revealing all the unthinkable filth in the years past right before Elder Ying's eyes. Shut your trap this instant. The Shadow Moon Palace Lord shouted in shock. 
He had not thought that Elder Yui would decompose the matter at that moment. Elder Ying stared silently at Elder Yui who was laughing maniacally, already aware of those facts in his heart. But when his ears heard those words, his heart still winced in pain. Yui Yi who was held in Elder Yui's grip suddenly widened her eyes and she struggled hard to turn her head, to stare in shock at the silent Elder Ying. This man is her grandfather? Her real grandfather? Elder Ying's eyes that met Yui Yi's astounded gaze were filled with deep remorse and regret. Ha 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 why should I shut up? My lord, you were the one that asked me to carry out the deed back then right? Why? You still want to keep Elder Ying by your side as a dog? You're really too cruel. On one hand, you slept with his granddaughter, and on the other hand, you still want him to bend his back to serve you. You are truly the real villain. Elder Yui no longer had any qualms and he shed all pretense of cordiality with the Shadow Moon Palace Lord. The Shadow Moon Palace Lord was so furious his entire body was trembling, and his body that had recovered suddenly surged with a familiar sense of exhaustion and lethargy. All right. Now, I have let you two acknowledge each other. What a nice guy I am. So you are ye, say goodbye to your biological grandfather now as I am about to send you on your way now. Elder Yui said venomously. Yui Yi bit on her lip, as she lowered her eyes. Elder Yui's hand raised up high, and then struck down towards Yui Yi's head. Elder Ying wanted to stop him, but was completely unable to catch up with Elder Yui's speed. His heart suddenly stuck right at the back of his throat. All of a sudden, a streak of light flew straight towards Elder Yui's palm, and intense pain caused Elder Yui's body to quake. Send her on her way? Have you asked for my approval? A cold voice suddenly rang out within the palace hall. Elder Yui looked towards the voice and suddenly saw Jun Wuxi come walking gracefully out from the side of the palace hall. Chang Huan. Elder Yui stared at Jun Wuxi as he clenched his teeth tightly. If it was asked who else in the Shadow Moon Palace he would want to kill, then it would definitely be the youth right before his eyes now. Ever since Chang Huan came back, no matter what Elder Yui did, things had not been smooth for him at all. Chang Huan when the Shadow Moon Palace Lord saw Jun Wuxi, he blew out a breath of relief. This extremely gifted youth here was the Shadow Moon Palace's biggest hope. Chang Huan? Jun Wuxi suddenly shook her head. I regret to tell you that I do not seem to be called by that name. When Jun Wuxi's voice fell, she suddenly raised her hand up to pull off the disguise she wore on her face. A countenance that could bring ruin to cities and countries suddenly bloomed out before everyone's sight, that perfect and flawless skin and those extremely exquisite features immediately caused everyone to gasp in shock. Chapter 1868, Resounding Face Slap, 1. Who are you? Elder Yue exclaimed in shock as she looked at Jun Wuxi. No one could have thought that the Chang Huan before their eyes would actually be an imposter and what was even more terrifying was that none of them had actually discovered it all this time. Jun Wuxi. Jun Wuxi said with an eyebrow slightly lifted, revealing a name that had never appeared here in the Middle Realm before. The Shadow Moon Palace Lord was astounded as he stared at Jun Wuxi. He had never seen such a beautiful young lady where even the very pretty Yui Yi had instantly turned to become rather lacking in luster before Jun Wuxi. In the entire palace hall, that one tiny figure was just like the sun, that attracted everyone's attention. I should have guessed that you are not Chang Huan. For that useless piece of trash like Chang Huan, how could he have possibly attained the purple spirit? Elder Yui said as he narrowed his eyes looking at the young lady before his eyes warily. The young lady seemed to be a little younger than Chang Huan and at that age, she had actually been able to break through to the purple spirit's fourth stage, which was just rather shocking. How old was this young lady? Fifteen? Or sixteen? Such a tender age and she had already reached a level that an average person could not hope to achieve. If she was given more time, how far would she be able to go? It's still not all that late for you to know now. Jun Wuxi said coldly, her gaze sweeping past Elder Yue's face. Elder Yue sneered coldly. So what if you are not Chang Huan? 
Do you think that you are able to take me on just by yourself? The level of disparity between a purple spirit and a silver spirit is not something that a little brat like you could possibly understand. But since you are so anxious to deliver death onto yourself, then I shall grant you your wish. Once I kill this little whore here, I shall immediately send you into hell. Elder Yue's eyes flashed with a cold glint and the hand holding Yue Yi was suddenly imbued with spirit powers, the pulsating glow of his silver spirit powers surging towards Yue Yi's body. With the kind of constitution Yue Yi's body possessed, it will be just a split moment that she would have all her internal organs crushed and for her to completely crumble under the tyrannical powers of the silver spirit. All of a sudden, a dark shadow swept past Elder Yue in a quick flash. Elder Yue only felt a chill upon his arm and by the time he recovered his senses, Yue Yi who had been held within his grasp was nowhere to be seen, and he discovered that his hand had actually been severed right at his wrist, a clean and neat cut, without the slightest sign of tearing upon the wound. Bright red blood immediately gushed out from Elder Yue's wound like a spring in the next instant, his palm that had just been severed lying there upon the cold hard floor. Urgh. Elder Yue grasped at his handless raised wrist, a frightful howl erupting from his mouth in that instant. All of that had happened too quickly. Not a single person in that palace hall was aware of what had happened, till Elder Yue's loud howl pierced their eardrums painfully that brought them back to their senses to stare at the bright blood gushing out from Elder Yue's severed wrist. Everyone then raised their heads up with absolute incredulity to look upon Jun Wuxi who stood at the palace hall's entrance. How how is that possible the Shadow Moon Palace Lord stared in pure shock at Yiga standing right beside Jun Wuxi, completely unable to believe his eyes. Elder Yui was the Shadow Moon Palace's top placed and most highly skilled fighter where even when the Shadow Moon Palace Lord was at its peak had only been able to battle Elder Yui to a draw. The kind of powers Elder Yue possessed could not have been any clearer to the Shadow Moon Palace Lord. Under the heavens, with the exception of a gold spirit, no one could possibly be able to so severely wound the highly powerful silver spirit in a mere instant. From beginning till end, Elder Yue had not had time to put up any kind of defense and his hand had already been severed off so easily. Chapter 1869, Resounding Face Slap, 2 as far as the eye could see in the middle realm, the silver spirit was rarer than rare and for the most powerful gold spirit, only the nine temple lords of the nine temples were able to reach that heaven-defying realm. But when Yiga made his move, not the slightest bit of golden light of a gold spirit had manifested within the palace hall, which was a point that shocked the Shadow Moon Palace Lord thoroughly. The Shadow Moon Palace disciples who had been there in the palace hall were all stunned speechless by Yiga's tyrannical power. Elder Yue's position and his powers in the Shadow Moon Palace had made all of them tread rapidly around him and not dare to go against him. Never in their dreams would they have thought that the day would come where the all-powerful Elder Yue would actually have his hand cut off by someone in one single stroke right before their eyes. Such an unbridgeable chasm between their powers was just absolutely unbelievable. Master Yue Yi's face was pale as she looked at Jun Wuxi. She was put down onto the ground by Yi Gu, her large doe-like eyes looking at Jun Wuxi in astonishment. Her master was actually such an unmatchable young beauty. My disciple is not to be touched by anyone. Jun Wuxi glanced at Yue Yi, before she turned towards the howling Elder Yue. Elder Yue had never been in such a wretched state. The incessant excruciating pain from his severed wrist caused his entire body to break out in cold sweat, his initial arrogance and glee already completely evaporated without a trace left in an instant. His face was deathly pale, blood smeared all over him, gasping for air as he looked at Jun Wuxi, his eyes actually showing a sliver of fear. Who who are you really we do not have any grievance or vengeance between us, so why are you going against me? Elder Yui was in so much pain his teeth were chattering. The severe injury inflicted upon him just a moment ago made him clearly aware of the great disparity between his powers and that of the mask tooth beside Jun Wuxi. Not to mention he was already wounded, even if he was completely fine, if he was attacked by the tooth, he would be rendered completely defenseless. This was the first time Elder Yui was seen to be in such a wretched state. 
his neatly combed white hair was in a mess, his venomous eyes showing a kind of panic never seen before in them. Unable to get a reply from Jun Wuxi, he then turned to look at Elder Ying. The fact that Chang Huan was impersonated by Jun Wuxi, though everyone else might not have noticed anything fishy, but he did not believe it to be possible that Elder Ying did not notice anything strange before. As after all, just how much weight Chang Huan was capable of, Elder Ying would definitely know it best. It's you. Elder Ying. You are indeed vicious. In order to bring me down, you had actually brought in such a helper. Elder Yu spat out as he glared at Elder Ying, his heart filled with hatred against Elder Ying, hating the fact he could not swallow him whole. However, the eyes that Elder Ying stared at Elder Yu with, was filled with similar loathing. If I really am capable of that, I would have sent you off to hell long ago. Elder Ying suddenly laughed out loud, his gaze highly malicious as he looked at Elder Yu you win. Elder Ying, let me tell you now that the incident at Hill City was my doing all right, and I was behind the abduction of Yue Yi as well. That piece of flesh over his heart was personally delivered into your granddaughter's hand by me and if you let this last name Jun kill me here today, your grandson will then accompany me to the grave. So you had been thinking it through properly. Elder Yue said with a cold laugh. He still had another chip in his hand. Elder Ying gazed at Elder Yu Wei who was still being so venomous till the end and the heaven roiling hatred in his heart surged. He then lifted his head to look at Jun Wuxi standing at the palace hall's doors. Elder Yu Wei, there is no need for you to waste your breath anymore. I've already told you. I do not have the capability to be able to invite our Miss Jun to exact revenge on my behalf and you do not need to use Yu Wei Yi to come threaten me. Moreover you really think that Yu Yi is still in your hands? Chapter 1870, Resounding Face Slap, 3. Elder Yu was slightly taken aback. Forest Moon Pavilion. Jun Wuxi suddenly spat out those three highly chilling words from behind Elder Yu Impossible. You cannot possibly have found Yu Yi. Cold sweat broke out from Elder Yu as he turned to look at Jun Wuxi, his face in utter disbelief. Jun Wuxi instead continued to say unhurriedly, you were very clever. Knowing that the Forest Moon Pavilion is where the previous generations of the Shadow Moon Palace Lords are reverently worshipped and prayed to, and only on days where memorial prayers are held, would the Shadow Moon Palace Lord lead the elders to the Forest Moon Pavilion to pray to the ancestors, with the place not allowing any disciple to set foot inside on any other day. You thought that hiding Yue in the Forest Moon Pavilion would then make it difficult for anyone to find him. Unfortunately I still managed to do it. Jun Wuxi's cold voice smashed up the final life-saving straw that Elder Yue had. Elder Yue had already had already openly gone against the Shadow Moon Palace Lord earlier and he was now not only severely injured by Yigu, Yue whom he had held in his hands had been also been rescued by Jun Wuxi. In just that one short hour, Elder Yui was struck by the biggest setback he had experienced throughout his entire life. And this setback gave him no way of getting out from this situation alive. At that moment, all color had drained out of Elder Yui's face completely, and he suddenly felt a chill creeping up into his entire body. The doors of the palace hall was blocked off by Jun Wuxi and he carried a severe wound on his body while behind his back was Elder Ying that he hated right into his bones. He had been forced into a dead corner. All of a sudden, Elder Yue fell to his knees in the palace hall, ignoring the wound on his wrist as he cowed out continuously at the Shadow Moon Palace Lord who was shielded by many disciples. My lord. This old man had eyes but was too blind to see, this old mind here confused and muddled. I beg for my lord to take into account that this old man had bent his back to toil tirelessly for the Shadow Moon Palace's sake for so many years, and save this old man's life. This old man is willing to present up every last bit of my fortune to the Shadow Moon Palace, and this old man will definitely obey every single order my lord gives. I beg for my lord to treat me as just a dog, and save my life. Elder Yue continued to kowtow, as he pleaded. Regardless whether Jun Wuxi was brought in by Elder Ying, 
just looking at Jun Wuxi's demeanor, she did not look like she had any intentions of letting him live. And Elder Yui was only left with just one path to tread, through the Shadow Moon Palace Lord. He had no choice but to beg with everything he had, trying his best to elicit sympathy from deep inside the Shadow Moon Palace Lord's heart. A pity, this time Elder Yui had done his sums incorrectly. If it was said that this was before Yui Yi appeared, even if the Shadow Moon Palace Lord knew that Elder Yui could possibly have done something that harmed the Shadow Moon Palace, he would have spared him on account of old sentiments. But after the Shadow Moon Palace Lord knew that Elder Yui had ordered Yui Yi to poison him, he had then hated Elder Yui to the bone. Elder Yui, you think I will save such a heartless and ungrateful white-eyed wolf like you? The Shadow Moon Palace Lord sneered with a cold laugh. He then raised his head, and looked upon June Wuxi with her city ruining looks to say politely, Miss June, if you want to stand up for Elder Ying here today, I will not have any opinion about it. This person is no longer an elder of my Shadow Moon Palace, and whether you want to kill him or skin him alive, you can do as you wish. My Lord. Elder Yui's eyes widened as he glared the irises magnifying from terror. However, the Shadow Moon Palace Lord did not even look once at him, but was looking covetously at Jun Wuxi's beauty. Yigu! Jun Wuxi's voice sounded like death's knell, ringing out from behind Elder Yue. Elder Yue's body shivered as a chill shot through him, his survival instinct pushing out all his spirit powers in an explosion suddenly, roaring as he turned around and charged towards the exit of the palace hall. However, in that instant that Elder Yue's body had not yet even gotten close to the palace hall's doors, the figure of Yiga had already come right behind Elder Yue.